friends, I'm back. So I'm here to do about a 30 buck book haul. Um, I haven't been doing book hauls, but I'm going to start bringing them back just because I like remembering what month I got stuff. So this is the end of the year tail end. I think I did like one little shopping trip. Um, the, like the first day of the year because I had off. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So the first book I picked up was A Matter of Temptation by Stacey Reed. This was, I think this was like a $4 book I got from, um, The Strand. They have like a discounted paperback section. So I picked this one up because I heard people have really been liking this. I tried to read The Darling Duke and I didn't really feel for it, but I love books about twins. And I think that this follows a main character named Mina and she wants her brother is like in a gambling debt and she winds up having to be in a duel for him to, pr to protect their family's honor and then the duke winds up hiring her as like a um as like a, a like a, a, a secretary and I think it's cute and I heard B -B book refuge I also think Jess from Peace Love Books really liked it and I am always looking for a good historical I don't ever really physically read historicals but I'm saving a couple on my shelves for when we do the historical readathon that I want to do then in the next time the next round that they do that so yeah I also picked up the Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman because this is Meg from Meg in a Book's favorite book of all time or one of her favorite books of all time and it also is the cozy club pick for February which I do need to read so yeah that is why I picked this up and then I got a couple actually quite a few Christmas presents I'll be honest um so these two I believe came from my friend Jen I think um but my imaginary Mary is from Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton and Jody Meadows oh she got me a couple of other ones too I have to go get those. Um, I think I have about 30 books because I forgot a couple um but this is a follows Mary Wol Wilson Crafts, Ada Lovelace, and um, Pan, and this is like an automaton, and these get about, these are so freaking funny, like I just love their writing style, and it's basically like a modern and funny satirical take on the tale, and I'm really excited to read this one. I also picked up Curses by Lisa McBride, and this is just a fairy tale story. This one came from Penguin Random House. I don't know who got me this. Honestly, I don't know. It may have been one of my, like, birthday book haul things. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know who got this for me. I don't think my friend Jen. I think one of my, um, I think one of my secret Santas got it for me. I think. So. But I'm excited for this. It's like a fairy tale story. And I'm excited. I love a good fairy tale. Um, I think this one came from Meg with the book Our Secret Santa. So I got a little too familiar. An Uncanny Romance by Leash, Leash McBride. Oh, maybe this is, maybe this is Leash McBride. These are both by Leash McBride? That's so funny. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this came from the same person. I'm not really sure. But this is the same author. I didn't even realize that. And this is like a like um, a Halloween romance. So I do not know. Who, I know that this came from Meg with a Bucks. And I don't know who this came from. So Or that the, 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 like the Patreon exchange. But this is like a Halloween related romance. So I'm really excited for that. And I heard it was really, really cute. Also from my work Secret Santa, I got Little Secrets by Jennifer Hillier, which is a murder mystery that I'm really excited for, and I heard people really like this one, and I think it has it's more like a domestic thriller, which I don't think I've ever read, um, and I think her son was taken, and she has to sort of work with a de de detective, I think, to get her son back. Um, Again, I don't know who got me this one. Again, I know I have to say, but no one like wrote names. But this is a Kingdom of Shadows and Stars by Holly Renee, um, and this is one that I've heard everyone talking about on Book Talk and BookTube and stuff. So I decided to pick it up. It's also super short for a fantasy romance. It's like not even three hundred pages. So I might pick this up because I've been reading some really long books and it's putting me into a little bit of a slump. Also from Novel or Harper. Oh, this is from Harper. I'm not really allowed to show Harper books, but I did get a nonfiction book from them as well. And then I also got Killer Content by Oliver Blake. This is a Berkeley Prime Crime book, and this is a Brooklyn murder mystery. And I think my coworker Tiffany got this for me. Um, I'll just show it to you guys. I did wind up getting Fitter, Commerce, Stronga by Ellie Golden, but this is time for me for review and mention that um and then the killer content by olivia blake 
which is a just a murder mystery that I picked up. I think I got that for Christmas. I got a lot of these for Christmas. So The Remarried Empress. I think my friend also got me this. This is a book I've heard a lot of people talk about and I haven't really read a ton of like manga or comics. But this was just sounded interesting and I think it's about a character who's married to her husband and then he comes and says she wants a divorce and she wants to get remarried and the artwork is really pretty in this and I'm really excited. I heard um, Princess from Paperbacks talk about it and she was really excited. And then my friend Tiffany got me Other Birds by Sarah Ad Addison Allen and this takes place in like a magical, um, you know, like apartment building and again another really short read so I have a couple of short reads that I might wind up reading relatively soon just to balance out my like really long 400 500 page fantasy um and then I did wind up doing a book swap with a friend of mine um that we just swap books so I wound up getting Wild Lord the Everstorms by Amanda Foody this is the third book in that middle grade series and she had already read it and I really wanted to read it Still gotta read book two. It's on the agenda. Um, I also picked up The Love Match. Um, I don't know. This is from Simon & Schuster. Um, and this feels to me sort of like a Pride and Prejudice retelling. But it's like, there. It, this one's Bang, um, it's Bang Desh, Bang, um, oh my god. It's just like another royal family. Um, and there's like a bad match involved. I think there's singing and there's music. It sounds really, really cute. I also got a happy of Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert. This is from oh Joy Revolution, their first book, I think, that is part of that. And I actually went to a panel, but I didn't get the book there. My friend gave it to me. Um, but I'm really excited to read this one. I actually have the audio, too, from Lebo Ephraim, so this one might get relatively cute. But, um, well, um, and this is Could You Behave in the Wilderness with Your Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute Ex-Best Friend? Um, and I think they have to go in the great outdoors and survive, which sounds delightful. I remember when I was in, was it high school? We had to do like project adventure and I was deathly afraid of heights, but there was a cute boy. Our story does not have that happy of an ending, but this one might. Um, and then Chloe and the Casio boys by Maya Cotillo. Um, this is another like love romance and I think she has to go somewhere. She's, uh, she's closer to realizing her dream of being an animator in the United States, um, but she has to go somewhere, and then she has a summer that's sort of in America, I think, to sort of figure out what she wants, and some boys kind of turn her day on her head. I also picked up a copy of What You Gonna Do by Avery Flynn. I've heard really cute things, and again, I just want witchy reads to have on hand, I'll be very honest about that, and I'm really excited for this one. And I think an unlikely witch teams up with a know-it-all nemesis must team up for the first of new spicy romantic comedy series. I'm excited. Um, I also got the new Sophie Jordan arc. My friend, again, didn't want this one, so she gave it to me. The Scandalous Ladies of London, The Court Cowardison by Sophie Jordan. This comes out in March, but this is not a trade paperback, so I'm excited. Uh, and I do, I have like Sophie Jordan in the past. So I'm really excited. I also picked up Never Getting Back Together by Sophie Gonzalez. This is an older e arc that I had that I'm just trying to gather some books for so I don't have to read all my Kindle because I hate reading on my Kindle sometimes. Um, but this is an LGBTQ plus story where two females go on this dating show with their ex-boyfriend and they mind they wind up mind they maybe wind up falling in love. This is from Wednesday Books and I'm super excited to get to it. And then my fairy loot for December was Emmy, um, Emily Wild's Encyclopedia of Fairies. And again, this is stunning. Another really short book. I was like laughing because literally I'm showing you all these books and they're so short and I could not find anything to read. Maybe it's because everything on my TBR is like 400 pages. But these are again short and this just sounds right up my alley. This is the Owl Crate Edition. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I don't even know what this is about, but I think she's like in, in, investigating fairies. This might be a good read to read this weekend. I don't know, but all the books. I also did like a book, like I said, wait for Blind Date with a book, and I got two just to see if I like the service. And I got The Good Marriage by Carolee McCracken, which is another domestic thriller. This is from, obviously, from Book of the Month, but I got it from her. And I also got a hardback of The Diabolic, which is really interesting. I was thinking of doing a reading vlog about it and just see how I feel. We'll see. I also did Champango shopping. 
Um, I started selling on Pango. If you ever want me to link my shop, let me know. But I wanted to do a couple of like cozy mysteries because I found one that I loved. Um, and I picked up Death on the Shelf by Allison Barack. Um, this one is that. I literally don't know what any of these are about, just that they were on there. And then I put a page marked for murder. Um, I don't know if these are like first or third in a series or whatever. And then I also picked up a copy of The Rune of Kings by Jen Linos because I just want to read this book. I've heard really good things about it and it's intriguing me. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys the last couple of books that I got. These were my most recent purchase. Um... Oh, and then, sorry, one more from Pango is Every Other Day by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I'm trying to get everything that, like, Jennifer Lynn Barnes has ever written. She has quite a few books that I haven't read yet. Again, another really short one. Um, but this is a paranormal story, and I'm, this is giving, giving me Buffy vibe, Buffy vibes, so I'm excited. Um, and yeah, just Supernatural, so I'm excited for that. Um, I also picked up two hard box because I went to Target. I got As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson, which is the last book in that series. I do have earrings of both of these books, but again, if I'm getting out of physical, it's more likely to get read. Just being real with you all, and the stack is going to fall on me. And then I got A Dragon's Promise by Elizabeth Lim, which is the last book in that series. Again, I'm trying to get better at series, trying to get better. And then my friend went to Italy and which is delightful. I'm actually planning on going this year as well. She beat me there and she bought back a copy of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which I just thought was so sweet. I have a very complicated relationship with JK Rowling, but I will admit ever since I was little and I wanted to go to Italy, I wanted to get a Harry Potter book from Italy and I was really struggling to purchase it. But she took that out of my hands because she bought it for me as a gift and I will treasure it because... As upsetting as J.K. Rowling actions are, uh, and I don't, in, I don't, you know, condone anything that she's done, it was a very, very big part of my childhood, and I just love that my friend thought of me in such a kind way. So, those are all the physical books that I got in the last couple of months. I'm going to try to be better and do a haul, like, every two months. I'm also going to try to, you know, curl back my book buying. We'll see how that works. And let me know in the comments what is one book you're super excited you picked up this month. And I'll talk to you guys for my next video. Bye, friends.